wrong with you? Beer drink here. <laughs> anyway. This isn't a beer review. However, I'm going to enjoy this sweet water for, for uh, G13 420 strand. Is it an India Pale Ale? Yeah, India Pale Ale. Not sure what the ABV is on it. This isn't a beer review, so I don't have to tell you niggas, but 6% alcohol by volume. But anyhow, is it just... Hold on. First off. That shit's delicious. Is it just me or is the Firefly Funhouse the only reason to check in the raw? For an idea that was almost axed at the last minute, it sure is doing raw good ratings. Past three, four weeks of the Firefly Funhouse, they normally just pop it in randomly. But after this AEW <laughs> pay-per-view this past weekend, they fucking gave you about two or three notices. Hey, the Firefly Funhouse coming up next. Firefly Funhouse. Later on, we have the Firefly Funhouse. Firefly Funhouse. Firefly Funhouse. Firefly Funhouse. Firefly Funhouse. Well, my thing is they fucking up. I think they should just plug it in anywhere. Just pop it in on motherfuckers. Make sure that people are watching raw. But they gave you like two or three reminders that, hey guys, we still have this Firefly Funhouse even though the fucking show is trash. This is the only reason why I'm even watching raw aside from the fact that I'm about to restart the podcast tomorrow. It's gonna be fire. Shout out to George Kennebrew. So on this last episode of the Firefly Funhouse, did you notice that Bray was being very dismissive towards anything that Abby had to say it was very weird even the fact that in the very dark like i said this was one of those ideas that was almost a subliminal hit and it's dope because everyone shitted on the idea super dark like just the fact that sister or abby said that you just i just wish that i could be done abby the witch you're a bully why won't you let me rest <laughs> she would just let it go like pretty much i forget what she said but then you're a bully and then they said, I'm sick of being in limbo. I'll never let you rest. <laughs> never. I can't stand it. I don't want to be stuck in this limbo anymore. Yowie wowie. And the funny thing about it, of course, they did the limbo thing at the end of the uh, vignette. But it was a, it was a, it's a normal uh, choice of words. However, you got to look at the word limbo. Everyone always looks at limbo as almost being wishy-washy or waiting on something, but the actual definition of limbo, definition number one, in some Christian beliefs, the supposed abode of the souls of unbaptized infants and of the just who died before Christ's coming. Something to think about as far as this angle, huh? The second definition, an uncertain period of awaiting a decision or resolution, an intermediate state or condition this angle it hasn't really taken a turn yet however this angle is going to take a turn and it is going to be a very dark turn we're going to really get to see uh exactly what molded bray Wyatt and truthfully the whole Wyatt family by abby's story is where they're probably going to turn the heat up i'm thinking next week and also on this episode where the fuck was uh mercy the buzzer that was kind of weird that mercy the buzzer wasn't on there all in all the only in, the only reason for tuning in to Raw is this Firefly Funhouse. And I cannot wait next week to see what they twist or what they concoct up or what Bray can come up with next week because that was very weird how dismissive he was towards anything that the that Abby said and also the fact that Abby said that it was in limbo. So it's pretty much saying that it's a soul that either one was murdered in the fire. So Abby was an infant. How about that? Sister Abigail. Maybe Sister Abigail was Bray Wyatt's daughter and the house burned down. Hot take. Maybe it was the actual sister in which was an infant. Maybe it was a grown woman, sister, whatever, named Abigail that just died in the fire. That's all I got. Very dank, man. Most dank IPA you're going to get right here. I'm going to be doing a weekly podcast with my homeboy, George Kennebrew. Title of the podcast to be dropped on the first episode of the podcast. These podcasts generally will be put up every Wednesday after Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. Give us some time to process both shows. It's going to be a podcast about the WWE Universe sprinkle with the wrestling industry or wrestling promotions outside of the WWE. This shit's going to be really good. We got me, and we also have a very knowledgeable wrestling fan and journalist by way of George Kennebrew. It's me. It's Beer Drink. I can be anything I want to be. <laughs> I'll never let you rest.